it's six o'clock and now I'm all like wanting to head over to the MSU area and check out if there is anything going on there for the movie and I don't know I think I've studied enough I you know today was more about organizing what I was gonna do this week and make sure that I knew everything that needed to get done more than just getting the stuff done I can get it done during the week but I needed to make sure I knew everything part of being a student is being organized with all your work making sure you knew you know everything that you need to do so that you don't fall behind so I'm gonna head home see what's happening there and if the girls aren't watching the game with Alice I think I'm gonna load them in the car and we're gonna go see what's happening with all the building around that set I mean pretty much I think what they're doing is making it really secret and you won't be able to see anything happening at the museum usually you can see the museum really neat it just got built um, a couple years ago I was actually watching the entire building get built it's a really weird building I'm not surprised they decided to use it in a movie I wonder if that will pretty much pay for pretty much the entire um, uh, building you know it was like this huge undertaking um, it's called the broad uh, contemporary art museum and it really doesn't fit in with any of the buildings but it's a pretty cool art museum that we have at MSU and it's on the old part of campus so all the buildings around it are really old and then there's this like super modern building and um, it takes up a prominent corner of our institution and they have lots of different art shows and stuff but it's going to be used for this this um, crazy movie and I mean obviously we're all going to go to the movie when it comes out in a year or two but I don't know I just saw Gone Girl last night with Ben Affleck in it and so wouldn't it be cool if I just caught a glimpse of him I'm not somebody who goes like really crazy over like famous people I actually have some people in my family who are actors and I grew up knowing people who are in the arts so it's not something that I particularly love but I do like to be able to tell people kind of that I really appreciate what they've done like I really appreciate their work Ben Affleck I think you know some of his best work has actually not necessarily been on screen I really liked his writing like Goodwill Hunting and I really like when him and Matt Damon were younger and they were a little more humble you know but I think Amy Adams is really great and I love Lawrence Fishburne so gosh just seeing him would be phenomenal so anyway we'll see what's happening at home I'm almost there well they are watching the football game but it sounded like there was interest overall even Alice is willing to walk away from her football game to go and check out what might be happening at the Broad Museum and to be with family that I love and to be with family that she loves Mia's taking a nap but I think she'll get up for this one Jessica might be doing studies so I kind of feel guilty but I think she'll still go <laughs> Sky, how do you feel about it yeah yeah you gonna come yeah, they might need an extra in the movie first. They yeah. need a dog. We're thinking maybe they need a dog extra. Should oh. we take Sky with? For those of you with young children and you think it takes a long time to get out of the house, try having two teenagers in the house. An hour later, we are maybe leaving the house. We're still waiting for Jessica. And then there's Alice. Alice is moseying around, but she was I've the first one outside. Poor job of vlogging. Poor job. Yeah, you're kind of a poor vlogger. For a channel called Everybody Loves Alice, I apologize that you mostly see me. It's not really Everybody Loves Alice, is it? I do love Alice, so hopefully that's okay, and I hope you don't hate me. Although Jessica says, Mia was like, why is the channel called Everybody Loves Alice and not Everybody Loves Alice and Michelle? And Jessica goes, because everybody hates Michelle. No, they don't. I didn't say that that. kind of made me feel bad. I, I didn't say you said that. Jessica said oh. that. I hope you don't all hate me. That would really be, uh, you know what? I would be okay with that because it is Everybody Loves Alice. Here you go, Al. Hi, what's up? We're taking a ride, a little Sunday afternoon ride. It, it, it will get see both you guys. of us. It will get everybody. It will get all of us. Hi. It's not getting Michelle right now. No, it's not. Let's bring it back. Okay. 
so we're all on our way to the set of Batman versus Superman. So who's going to win, y'all? Well, wouldn't they be on the same side? Wouldn't Batman and Superman be heroes? I'd then why does Batman win? Versus? I know. Well, Batman's kind of dark. I like Batman. People are saying it should be Batgirl for But isn't Batman kind of dark where Superman is like yeah, only a hero? Yeah, always darker. But I always thought of Batman as kind of a hero too because he always wants to, you know, do good. <laughs> but is Batman is kind of with like Superman. the anti-hero. He has like he's dark. Okay. Where Superman is all about Still saving Lois Lane. Day. He does, but the city always tries to like pit him against. Yeah. But it's still evil that he's against, like worse evil than him. He's misunderstood. He's Don't definitely misunderstood. Yeah. I so that's the building it. that they're going to use for the movie. I think we should park and look around. And they made that's some. That fake wall. They Why made they some walls. Them? We don't know. But nobody's here. I don't see there's anybody people filming. Inside doing Ooh, something. there's so people we're gonna, inside. We're gonna park. inside. Okay. So it's closed till the 21st. Twelve, but like we know that. We're gonna walk around the building. So as you see, like this part of campus is not at all modern. I'm sure this is here because of the movie. This like lift thing. But anyway, and then look at this building. I'm looking straight up. It's this like funky. Batman's gonna great. or Spider Man or Superman or somebody's gonna <laughs> scale the building. They are probably gonna scale this building. It's gonna be very hard to scale. That's where like the main you can almost get windows in, but see, they built walls, so everything that's happening inside we're not gonna be able to see. It kind of stinks. There's gonna be all these actors right behind there and we won't be able to see it. Batman! It kind of stinks that they're like totally making it so we won't be able to see a thing. And then of course there's security. But it's kind of cool. Look at this building. Isn't that funky building? It is perfect for the kind of thing that they're trying to do here with um, like Batman and Superman. The Broad Art Museum. And then this is these fake walls that they put up. I've never, I saw them putting it up and I'm like, what are they doing? I thought and that too. It's like grass on the side. Yeah. The wall. And then it's like half grass and then wood and then grass and then wood. And I was like, what is that and why? And I still don't know well, why. Two, They're weird. You see those two black things? Yeah. They're going to tie Superman or Batman to those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just hang them right there. Well, there's an entrance down here, so I'm going to go take that entrance. See what we can find out. Okay. It's so far, that looks like cement. Yeah, it does. It looks like cement. So it's like faux cement on this side. So this is going to be, you know what? This is going to be like the entrance at the movie, in the movie. This will be an entrance. Yeah, okay. That's so cool. And they're going to scale this wall or come in through the entrance. But we know that on the other side, it's just wood and fake grass. Isn't that freaky? So on the other side, it's just all that wood and fake grass. But in the movie, oh, don't be on the grass. Don't be on the grass. Movies are a sort of art. So the fact that they took down all the art that's usually in there and they're just preparing for like major superheroes to scale these walls. Pretty darn cool. This is going to be Batman's house. I don't know how this is going to be used, but it is super cool. And it's so neat to think that we were here, Batman's house. That's but Batman's picture. house, has, it, you know, it goes down into... Sorry, honey, Batman is all about having, the, the like, the underground. Hey, look at this. It that's kind a, of... Yeah, but he would have a gate, a big gate. Well, we are right. This is his tree. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be art. So when you're finally seeing the movie in the future, and this is the entrance way to something, I think it's going to be like a two-second scene, right? I said there'll probably be like one scene. And if they're just filming. 